Hello everyone, my name is Young, and welcome to this product overview of our Geovision Fisheye Camera. Today I'm going to demonstrate what this new Fisheye Camera craze is all about. I'm going to start by showing you our current models of the cameras and briefly demonstrate the capabilities and functions of these cameras. Right here, what you see is a FE420. There are four megapixel IP cameras. There are the big brothers, the FE110s, which are 1.3 meg fisheye cameras. The main features are outlined on our website. Some of the features to note here are, for instance, um, day-night function, no mechanical moving parts, um, different angles that can be accessed by different users at the same time, meaning the admin account doesn't control the user modes or the viewing angles of other users on the same network. Um, you can play back from any angle in any zoom level, I mean, because when you record, you're only recording one image, but you can play back and view the other angles as well. Um, one of the biggest hits of this is a uh, built-in microphone and speaker, and the fact that it's PoE capable. Uh, also, it's built in a built-in SD card if you want to record onto that as well. So let's bring up the software and let's see what it looks like. Here we have the GB NVR software. This is our GeoVision main system software, and I already added the camera to camera one for the fisheye. And I'm just going to go ahead and start recording and show you guys what this is all about. So I'm going to click on start recording. So you can see right here on the top left hand side, the camera one is solid orange. That means it's recording. And <clears throat> uh, just, let's just say a few things. This camera is actually mounted in our training room. So it's on the ceiling. Well, our training room is fairly medium size, not small, but not large. It's medium size. You can see all the chairs around and the table sizes. And uh, it looks very similar to a smoke detector. If you didn't know that's what you were looking for, you wouldn't have found it. Okay, I'm going to show you some features of this camera. The view you're looking at right now is a general fisheye view. Now, this is going to be very round and very um, hemispherical. Now, we can defish it, so to speak, make it directly linear, or we can just keep it in this because there's a lot of detail, a lot of quality. All right, I'm going to show you some features of this camera. This is uh, included with almost all of our IP cameras, which is PIP and PAP. PIP is, gives you this kind of image, allows you to zoom in on a particular section of your IP camera, and we can see in detail more up close of what, uh, what the overall image is. It's kind of like digital zoom. So I can see what's going on over here. Or if I'm done with PIP, let's step out of it and go to PAP view. PAP view is actually very, very unique. It allows us to zoom in on particular areas of the screen. So for instance, I want to keep an eye on what's happening in this table here. Make a square there, that'll show there. I can keep an eye on right here. If someone goes to that desk, notify me. Uh, maybe this corner here as well. And say I want to look at, oh, I'm going to move it a little bit farther down. I can do that as well. And I want to see what this poster says. As you can see right there, I'm right there. I can pretty much fill it in with whatever I want to see. We want to see the switch there. And I want to see what's over here, this entrance. That's right there. Okay. Now, this is pretty generic. A lot of our IP cameras have this. The most touted feature of our fisheye camera is the geo fisheye feature. So, I'm going to go enable that. And voila! You see how it quote unquote defishes the round image and turns into four different cameras. And now, keep in mind, this is taking up only one screen. See if I take up one, one camera. See, if I switch it to four screen division, it's only this one particular camera. So I can see here, and I can turn it just by clicking and dragging on each channel. Just moving it around and seeing what I want to see. Uh, this camera has a couple notable features. One is that one image can be broken up into four different views, or we can explore some of the other options. And we have here, we have the different modes, such as quad view, 360, dual 180 or single view. So let's go through one at a time. For the 360 degree view, we have a uh, 360 degree all around image, the entire hemispherical image D fish on the bottom. And we get two nice big images that are rectilinear on the top. So you can see whatever we want to see. We can also zoom in by 
rolling up scroll wheel and mouse. We can turn it left and right to choose whatever we want to see. Now the other camera view that we have is right here. You can choose camera mode and dual 180. So if you want to see a little bit more detail, you can see what's going on in 180. This is good for corridors because you can see front and back. Now we also have the single view, which is a which is the four meg camera broken up into one very high quality rectilinear image, and we can do whatever we want with this rectangular image. So we can also let's let's go back to the quad view. I want to show you something. See how these images are static right now? We can actually turn on the virtual PDZ function. So if we right click, we can choose to automatically um, so we can choose medium speed and that will automatically turn and kind of scan the entire room for whatever I want to do. Along with that, on the, along the same note, we can also do um, show the source image at the top right. So if I see not all three of my cameras are not pointing to a particular part of the room and I see it, and I see activity in that room, I can hold my camera, I can turn it, I can show, oh, what's that? I can see what that is. Can cancel down. And just stop that. So now all the videos are recorded. Let me just stop it back. And one of the notable features is that when you record it, you're not only recording this view, you're recording the actual spherical image. So when you play back, you can play back in any view you want. And I can demonstrate that by going to right here. Let's go to the view log. So here we have this fish eye image brought up. With this, um, you can see these are, this is something we just recorded. And it's still in the uh, spherical image. So how do we defish this to see what we want to see? Because what if, I want, if I just choose play, it's going to play only the fisheye version. So if I choose play, it's only going to play the original brown image. And that's that's good for some degree, but it's not good if we want to see details. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop it. I'm going to choose this button on the top right. Single view. Geo fisheye. And I, here we go. Just give it a second, and here we go. So these are actually not the views that we recorded in. But these are the views I can choose to play back at any angle, at any time. So one good thing to note is that if I see someone has something happening at the counter, I can see that on a playback. Oh, maybe there's someone entering the doorway. I can see that as well. One good thing to uh, make note of is that our GeoVision NVR software is not only compatible with our fish eye, it's also compatible with the other third-party cameras with Amervision lenses because we have the option to uh, defish those cameras as well. So if I right click right. If this camera was actually something else, we have the option of IMV Panamorph, which allows us to defish third party IP cameras as well. Now that's pretty much the, the overview of this particular camera. Um, one thing I want to share with you guys is that uh, we have some of our customers already using this for hospital applications. For instance, hospital intersections where there's a lot of traffic coming in and out, and it's just simply unwieldy to have four or five different cameras pointing down the same corridor and still have, you know, customers or clients being missed as they pass between cameras. So we can also put this into medium to large size meeting rooms to capture everybody that's present, not just, uh, you know, a certain people at a certain desk corner. One camera here technically replaces four, but if you think about all the capabilities during playback, you have a lot of cameras that you're seeing on. Thank you very much for watching our video presentation for the GeoFish Eye Overview. Again, this is Young, and have a good day.